detail. Huh. Keep me covered, Carpenter. Aye, sir. Oh, that's more important than the Norden bomb site. All right, put it down, put it down. Get out, 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 out. Come out. on, come yeah. on. Uh, All clear, sir. May I take a look at it now, sir? Be my guest. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> is that beautiful? <laughs> look at that. That is probably the only case of vintage 34 Sauvignon Champagne in the entire Pacific. Oh, oh, sir. When I think of the party we can have with this when I'm promoted, I quiver. I positively quiver. Well, I hate to interrupt your quivering, sir, but uh, how are you going to keep this a secret from Mikhail and his men until oh, then? Oh, you can't keep it a secret from Mikhail. They probably knew about this the minute it was loaded on the freighter in San Diego. But I was too fast for them this time. The boat has sailed, Carpenter, believe me, because when I turn these keys, this place is going to be locked up tighter than a mummy's tomb. <laughs> Dogs, grab the bubble water and let's blow. Savigny 34, pure liquid gold. I, if I was the mercenary type, I could get 50 bucks a bottle for this giggle juice. Yeah, and I'd get 50 bucks more to see the expression on old Leadbottom's face when he finds out it's been heisted. You mean you guys swiped this from Captain Binghamton? Yeah, well, I got news for you, meatheads. This stuff is going right back where it came from. Uh, We're not sticking our necks out for a few crummy bottles of champagne. Yeah. Oh, 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 some things worth taking a chance for. Yeah, like what? This very important occasion, Skipper-san. It's my first anniversary. Hey, gee, congratulations, Fuji. I didn't even know you were married. <laughs> so wait a minute, hold it, Chuck. That's right. Today is the 17th. Well, congratulations, Fuji. It's been a whole year since Fuji won his letters. <laughs> <laughs> That's the reason we swiped the giggle water so we could celebrate in style. I even cooking big lobster dinner for tonight. Only what could be grabs the dinner with a champagne? Yeah, how about it, Skip? It's for the best doggone PW and outfit ever had. Yeah, come yeah, on. Man. All right, all right, hold it. Well, I guess I'm just not cut out to be a party pooper. Okay. <laughs> well, I'll put it on ice. <laughs> Post the guard at the gate. But, sir, I don't understand. Just this morning, you said you were saving the champagne for your promotion. Uh huh. Well, actually, Carpenter, I do have a little promotion in mind. Sir? That new nurse on Ward 3. <laughs> However, I'm only going to take one bottle. The rest of it, I'm going to leave right where it is. Untouched by human hands. Unspoiled by it's gone. Gone? Did you see it? Oh, no, no, no. Well, it's, it's gone. gone. Yes, it's gone. My beautiful sparkling champagne is gone, gone, gone. But, sir, the bars on the windows, the, the guards, the, the padlocks. How is it possible, sir? I'll tell you how it's possible. I'll tell you in one sickening, horrible word. Mikhail, that's how it's possible. Mikhail stole my champagne. Mikhail and that bunch of, of bubble grabbers. Captain, how can you be so certain it was Commander Mikhail when you don't even know how he got in here in the first place? Oh, I'll find out how he did it, Carpenter. I promise you, I'll get to the... I'll find out the answers in this thing if it... I'll get to the bottom of this. Uh, <laughs> Sir, are you all right? <laughs> wow, is tonight going to be a windy? <laughs> hey, that reminds me. Time to check love up out. You go ahead and do that, Fooge. In the meantime, let me have your attention over here, men. We just received a little billet doux. Our fearless leader wants us to do a recon check on Boralora Island. 
He says that there's been rumors of stepped up activity. Activity? By who? The Goonie Birds? No. 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 All right, all right, hold it, you bunch of champagne guzzlers. You're still in the Navy, remember? Now, if you guys want to get back here in time for the festivities, you better get yourself a move on. And I mean on the double. Yeah, come on, you guys. You heard of Skip. Let's move on. Let's move on. Let's hit the deck. Come on, man. Let's move. Let's move. Let's nip those nips. Uh, oh, sorry, Pooch. No offense. Just a bigger speech. <laughs> That's okay, Pakasan. I know you are the best friend Imperial Navy ever had. <laughs> Thanks, Pooch. Boy, the best friend. Uh... I've been insulted. <laughs> Sir, there's not a sign of Mikhail and his men. Ordering them on that phony mission was brilliant strategy. Oh, sir, you've completely fooled them. Oh, stop buttering me up and find my champagne. Let's go. Move on. Well, if this isn't the Saturday end, not only does Mikhail hijack my champagne, but he turns his place into a nightclub so he can guzzle it in style. Tear the place apart. Here, look out here, sir. Quick. Sir, look. Look right there. That frog man. What's the matter? It's a Japanese frog man. Yes, sir. It's an invasion. Sound the alarm, man. Nick, wait. He'll see us, you man. Stand by over there. Stand by. And Nick, whose side are you on? What's the matter? Marines, guard the door. They'll take them alive. I'll watch our flank. Hi, sir. Here. I got him, sir. Got him. I got him. All right. All right, you got him. Make sure you got him now. You got him. All right, Joe. All right. Who are you? What do you got to say for yourself? Speak up, speak up, speak up. Oi, vey. <laughs> Oi, vey. What does that mean? No, no, sir. I don't speak Japanese. <laughs> All right, Tojo, don't you speak any English? Stop that dirty talk. There must be somebody around here who understands this gibberish. I believe Commander McHale speaks Japanese, sir, but I hardly think that you'd oh, want to ask him. you hardly think, you nitwit. That's why you're still a lieutenant. You hardly think. Get in touch with McHale. Have him come back here on the double. We're going to take this miserable wretch over to the base for interrogation. Aye, aye, sir. But what about your champagne, sir? Who can worry about petty larceny at a time like this? Go! Yes, <laughs> I just may have captured the Nathan Hale of World War II. It's not none of that judo stuff. <laughs> Signal from the base, Skip. It's urgent. Now, how do you like that? Old Leadbottom wants me back to help him interrogate a spy he caught on our island. <laughs> On our island? Well, there must be some mistake, Skip. Well, gee, if there were any Japanese on our island, we'd know about it. Oh, boy. Get those bottles, Christy. Let's go home. It's food, sir. He's been called. They must think he's the spy. All right, all right, all right, boys. So, you don't believe I captured a Japanese spy? How would you call him, huh? Huh? <laughs> Why, that's sort of little runt. <laughs> Why, Captain, you must be kidding. <laughs> Look at him. Oh, look at him. He's just a teenager. <laughs> well, yeah, he looks like a kid you're liable to meet in any malt shop. <laughs> a kid you're liable to meet in any malt shop in Yokohama? <laughs> Those beady eyes. Look at that sneaky look on his face. I know a spy when I see one. You're a spy, spy, spy. <laughs> oh, but, Captain, he's just a harmless kid. I'll bet he doesn't even shave. Doesn't <laughs> shave? Doesn't shave. Neither did Mata Hari. <laughs> Mata Hari. Oh, that's very funny, sir. Mata Hari did not. <laughs> <laughs> very good, sir. Shut up. What are you like? I didn't come here to entertain a spy ring. Okay, I'll make him confess. Find out where he hit his camera. Come on. Well, I'll do my best, sir, but I still think you're barking up the wrong tree. They stand the Fuji. They go now, they had us. Ah, so. Sangatsuri in the cake, then. Kurumai be a tree in it, and it's it's just like I told you, sir. He's just a humble fisherman. He's no spy. Well, he comes from the Bunga Islands, about 200 miles north of here. He was caught in a typhoon. And the boat tossed and turned and up and down and back and forth and side to side. And... 
And the uh, first thing you know, the boat sank, and he, and he had to swim for it, and there he was on our island. That's it. Boy, just in the nick of time, too. I was getting seasick just listening to him. Will you get out of here? Oh, here. No, oh, for Kale, you're not going to believe this trial size Mikado, are you? Well, he's telling the truth, sir. He's no spy. Look, if you were to press charges against him, why, you'd be the laughing stock of Com Fleet. If I were you, I'd put him in a canoe and send him back to his village. If I were you. <laughs> Mikhail, if you were me, I'd cut my throat. Sir. How soon can we get a plane to send this so-called humble fisherman up to Com Fleet for professional interrogation? There's a transport being overhauled right now, sir, and it should be ready to take off in about three hours. Good. Now send an urgent dispatch to the Admiral. Tell him that I have captured a Japanese spy, maybe their key operator in the South Pacific. I see. <laughs> we'll see who's the laughing stock of the fleet when I get the uh, Navy Cross. <laughs> Man, we've really got problems. They doubled the guard. We gotta do something. We just can't let Fuji rot in some prison compound for the duration. Oh, you don't have to worry about that, Verge. Oh, when it comes to spies, they just... <laughs> Boy, he's in trouble. Hey, look. Why don't we tunnel in and heist him, just like we did the champagne? Nah, no dice. It took us three days to dig that last tunnel. We got less than three hours till sayonara time. Yeah, what we've got to figure out is how to keep that plane from taking off. That's right. But Binghamton's convinced that by turning in Fuji, he's going to end the war. The only way to keep him from making that flight would be if... Would be if... Would be if what? No, no, it never worked. Oh, what, no, no, no. what I was thinking of was... Well, suppose if all of a sudden there was no more war going on. Would you guys question a spy if the fighting was over? Of course not. Well, what's the sense of dreaming? We're 2,000 miles from Tokyo. The war ain't nearly over. All right, I know that, but we need breathing room. Now, just supposing we could convince a few of these guys around here that the war was over. <laughs> I'm willing to bet that old Lead Bottom would get so excited, he'd even forget about the flight. He'd be excited. What about the rest of the base? They'd be dancing in the boondocks. <laughs> yeah, and who's to say them guards down at the brig won't want to be in on the celebrating, too? And? Right. And that's when we spring Fuji. Skip. This idea is so brilliant, it's, it's even worthy of me. Oh, <laughs> Gentlemen, it is exactly two hours and 37 minutes to VJ Day. Let's get out of here. <laughs> well, I don't understand, Skip. I think... These ought to be enough to start VJ Day with a bang. All right, you bunch of peacemakers, you're set. Yes, sir. How about you, Willie? You all zeroed in on the right frequency? Got it, Skip. And a boy. All right, Chuck, you're on the air in exactly seven minutes. Now, please, will you come in on cue? Oh, yeah. And the rest of you guys, the minute you get my signal, start blasting. And keep blasting until I give you the word to stop. Gentlemen, it was quite a war while it lasted. It's gone. <laughs> Testing, testing, testing. <laughs> There's a skipper's signal, guys. We're in business. Hey, 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 hey. what's with you guys? Hey, where you been hiding, mate? It just come over the radio. The war is over. <laughs> There's all that racket out there. Why, 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 what is that? I don't know, sir. It almost sounds like New Year's Eve. Oh, New Year's Eve in the middle of July. Have you heard? The war is over. Oh, Mikhail, knock that off. Save that for April Fool's Day. No, no, no. The Japanese have surrendered. They've thrown in the towel, sir. Come on, it's coming in on the radio now. You can hear it. Stay with me. Come on. Hey, Sonny, turn on the emergency frequency over here. Come on, boy. Make a step. Stand by all commands. The next voice you hear will be that of our Commander-in-Chief, the President of the United States. My friend, I'm you men in the service are my friend. It is my pleasure to inform you all, or all you, that the Japanese Empire has fallen. Victory is ours. <laughs> 
Oh, oh, oh. Uh, down, fella. She is so excited. The fighting is over, and the war has been won. Did you hear that, Captain? Now what do you think? Uh, I don't know what to think. I never heard Fowler before. I, I, I can't believe it. Stand by all commands. Armed Forces Radio now takes you to London, England. Come in, BBC. Yes, quite so. <coughs> you get all that sort of stuff. Well, this is Cecil B. Cecil speaking to you from the shadow of Big Ben. <laughs> Yes, hear it in the background. The war is over. Uh, I think that bell has flipped its bloody bowler. Yes, I repeat, the war is over. Peace! Come on, baby, slip me by. It was a great war while it lasted. Skip, forward my mail to Ebbets Field. Brooklyn, here I come. Ta-ta! I see! Come back here. He was out of uniform. Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hello, Free French Headquarters. Voulez-vous, if you please? This is Armed Forces Radio. Do you read me French Headquarters? Come in, French Headquarters. This calls for champagne. Gentlemen, here we are. The best champagne in the South Pacific. Sauvignon 34. Sauvignon 34? You stole that from my supply hut. <laughs> Well, uh, why not let bygones be bygones, Captain? <laughs> we were saving it for you, sir, till the end of the war. You stole my champagne, you admit it, and you're giving it back? You're right, the war is over. Cheers, Captain. <laughs> the people over here are going out of their, uh, how you say, uh, cotton-picking mind. <laughs> oh, Captain. Uh, don't you think you'd better tell the rest of the base the good news? After all, they should hear it first from their fearless leader. Yes, sir. <laughs> And now I hear this. This is your fearless leader. <laughs> this is the captain speaking. <laughs> yeah, the war in the Pacific is over. You heard the man? The war is over. Come on, let's get out of here and really tie one on, huh? Wait a minute, what about the prisoner? We can't leave him. Who cares about spies and peacetime? It's BJ Day, swabbies! Come on, there's more of that thing. Ah. <laughs> Where are the keys, Fuji? Over there. Hey, Fuji, we got a great place to stash until the boat picks you up. Come on out. Our chief of staff thanks you. Ah, well, that's a and great speech, Captain. Yes, sir. I'm not through. Oh, come on out and join the celebration. Oh, good idea. Oh, yeah, I'm let's good. go. Wait a minute. You want to snort? You're going to pop your own cork. <laughs> <laughs> well, Admiral Fujiyama Sakamoto has just signed the peace treaty and is about to say a few words to the American people. Admiral Fujiyama Sakamoto. <laughs> Oh, so, this Admiral Sakimoto. Hi, everybody. Well, war is over. We give old courage try, but we lose anyway. Well, tough teriyaki for our side. Fuji's <laughs> <laughs> all sprung and accounted for, Skip. Came off smoother than the great train robbery. Nice going, Goob. Hey, now listen, start tapering off on that celebration. I don't want this to get too far out of hand. Yeah. Stand in the <laughs> What are you going, Bird Brain? Just a minute, please. Whom are you calling Bird Brain? Pigeon head. <laughs> pigeon? Yeah, a pigeon head. Listen, you've had the course, Lead Bottom. I have spent two years listening to your what, 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 and you who, who, who. You know something, friend? I am sick, sick, sick. <laughs> <laughs> All right, all right, all right. Oh. You shouldn't have done that, Carpy. I thought so, too. So he, he can send you up for 20. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, boy. 
It's it's Admiral Rogers. Let's go. We'll all get 20 years. I know, but we can't leave Binghamton in the drink. Come on, give me a hand here. Come on up, Captain. Come on up, boy. A little bit more now. And a boy. Back to me. Bye, boy. Hey, Hutt. Uh, afternoon, Admiral. Yeah, I'll belay the small talk, McHale. What in blazes is going on here? What kind of a man out are you running, Binghamton? Lower your voice when you talk to me, you loud mouth. I'm not one of your lackeys anymore. You're drunk, Binghamton. I'll have your stripes for this. Yeah, well, I'm saving the trouble. There's a strike. I'll need him at the wars over anyway, huh? What are you talking about? McHale, what is this nonsense about the war being over? I'm, 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 I'm telling myself what I mean, you know, blow hard and gold braided, blow hard, you. I got a better idea. There's a radio on the 73. You can listen to the news for yourself. Well, I have an idea. We'll both listen. <laughs> Skip, Mr. Parker's still down there. Who? <laughs> Admiral, Admiral, our radio's out, sir. You can hear better at headquarters, sir. Where is he? Where oh, is he? Oh, stay out of here. Aye, tis nay every day you can win a grand war like this. And so we say to the bonny lads and lassies who helped defeat the Japanese, the people of Scotland say, Hootman. <coughs> they say that a lot in Scotland. Uh, <coughs> Ten Hootman. <laughs> the war is over, huh, Binghamton? Well, I have news for you. I have just begun to fight. <laughs> what is the meaning of this hoax, mister? Speak up! Well, speak well, up! Uh, well, 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 maybe I can explain, sir. Well, you see, you do that, McCallum. For your sake, it better be good. It better be good for everybody's sake. Top side. All of you, up, up! <laughs> All right, McHale, now start explaining. Uh, well, yes, sir. Uh, well, you see, sir, uh... Uh, well, really, we didn't mean any harm, sir. Uh, of that, you can be sure of. Uh, sir, with your permission, I'll draw up the court-martial papers personally. That will be my pleasure. This time, McHale, you've gone too far. Endangering the entire base is an excuse for another one of your wild parties. This is absolutely the... Great Scott, what is that? Hey, Joe, we surrender. We quit, we quit. That's one of them new nip super PTs. We've been trying to capture one of those for months. War over, Joe. War over. You win. You win. Hey, Skipper, they must have picked up our broadcast. Yeah, they fell for my Admiral Sakimoto. Gene, I thought my accent was terrible. <laughs> you didn't check? Well, you were great. Why do you think I asked you to do all those invitations? <laughs> Wait a minute, Big Hale. Are you going to tell me you planned all this? But yes, of course, sir. Yes, sir. Well, we knew that there was a, a PT boat out there, sir, and uh, we knew that she was much too fast for us, so... Uh... You took a long shot chance. Faked the end of the war, hoping that they would turn into the nearest port. <laughs> Why, uh, yes, yes. Uh, that's sort of the idea, yes, sir. <laughs> uh, come on, go get them, you guys. Well, it's a bit unorthodox, as usual, Mikhail, but great thinking. Uh, thank you, sir. <laughs> great thinking? What about my spy, my prisoner? Oh, belay that chatter. I'll attend to you later. Seaman Binghamton. <laughs> Come on, Mikhail. Seaman Binghamton. Well, now, don't you worry about a thing, Wally. I'm going to put in a good word to Commander Mikhail, and if you're really willing to work, well, we can always use another enlisted man on the crew. <laughs> I gotta make a speech. Well, congratulations, Fooge. Uh, we're sorry we have to toast you with plain old coconut juice, but uh, we all know that the champagne went in a good cause. Yeah. <laughs> hey, hey, now, jackpot, guys. Look what honest old Lester just found. Genuine Scotch hooch, 10 years old. Oh, and just where did honest Lester find his genuine Scotch hooch? Well, you see, there was a supply boat tied up in Mainside, Skip. And when the crew hit the chow line, I tippy up on the deck. Oh, uh, no, no, I've seen it all. After what we just went through with that giggle water, you'd give Binghamton a second chance to put a noose around our neck? Well, gee, Skip, if you feel that way about it, I'll just take the stuff right back. You do, and I'll break every bone in that thick head of yours. <laughs> this is a happy occasion. Come on, boys. Hey! 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 